trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. Life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then, head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, <coughs> I guess the drapes and silly candle aren't going to do the trick, huh? Oh, no, no, no. You'll have incendiaries in the remote... about to start down at the FIP building. You know, get Gustavo and Norm on board. Be ready for my signal in the fire truck. Okay, at least half the crew is serious. But we'll be ready to do this thing, dawg. If you're new, just clear your pass with security, and you can go up. <coughs> yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up.
<coughs> you know you stay too late when the mopping dead show up. All right, all right. Don't work so hard. Buildings, Buildings closing, closing any, any second. second. Hey, hey, charge, charge is set. set. I'm, I'm out, out of the building. Of the building. Trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on.
Don't try! Alright, we all gotta change before we get there. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot be playing dress up when that happens. We need to get to the right and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. Man, I'm sorry, fool. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of it. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a duel, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the department, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Norm's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Man, you really gonna miss him, huh? Hey, I don't like losing any of my crew. But, uh, Norm was special. He liked you, man. Hey, he looked up to me, maybe. Man, when looking up to you, you got that poor fool killed. Hey, screw this. Suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility? It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here, give me some of that. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple again. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on. But, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. <clears throat> 
that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, but... I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both of them. Steve, oh, whoa! Oh, please! You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business deals, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay! Okay! Then put your gun down and we'll talk! After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American action. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the guns down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. Mercenary 
is here. trying to kill me. They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Be careful, Davy. Great. Another chopper. Maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, 
No, no, he's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full of the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, I've been meaning to die. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been meaning to die. You know, I've been, what, homie, what do you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just bad ones. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. We're all friends now. Buzz of group hugs out of the question. <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Brave history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on him. Yeah. Hey, what you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. 
He just another nigga from the hood. Him stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, man. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Man, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is old. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You... Franklin, what's up? Hey, man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit! And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man.
Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. Yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. All right. Hey, my turn to move. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. Go find the dude. I'll take out whoever I can. Here I hey, come, assholes. Mobilize, motherfucker. This is Chamberlain gangster families for life, motherfuckers. The mouthy one, and we'll be gone. Bring out Lamar. We'll go away. Oh, Frank's here! 
Getting out of here! I'll take them more! Alright, I'm going too! Thanks, sneaky dude! I still ain't met your ass! Alright, you too! Go! Go, 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 go! Hey T, you got to tell the people Pull up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free! You heard? Get out of here, man! Let's go! Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got the jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dawg. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck! That's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call that? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Four gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Motherfucker! You don't see this? 
Miss Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? I, I, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a the good deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit at yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They don't